Hello and welcome to DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's headlines, more than 500,000 internally displaced persons since late October. Over 140 civilians killed in Shan and Arakan states. The MNDAA is accused of forced recruitment. And the central bank rescinds its fixed forex rate. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs states that over 500,000 people have been displaced due to fighting since late October. It added that internally displaced persons, or IDPs, are in need of food, shelter, and medical assistance. David Matheson is an independent analyst on Myanmar. There is a very big difference between the resistance side, whether it's the National Unity Government, PDFs, or the ethnic armed organizations around the country, who do a lot more to actually uh, assist civilians right. and facilitate humanitarian assistance, as opposed to the military that actually create a lot of the misery and, um, and interdict humanitarian assistance. Um, and attack uh, civil society and, 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 and aid workers. That was David Matheson, an independent analyst on Myanmar. The UN states that airstrikes, roadblocks, and telecommunications disruptions have limited the transportation of essential supplies. This has made it difficult for residents to flee. Fighting has spread nationwide since the Brotherhood Alliance launched Operation 1027 in northern Shan State on October 27th. The total number of IDPs in Myanmar now exceeds 2 million. The Brotherhood Alliance stated that more than 140 civilians were killed and 216 were injured in northern Shan and Arakan states from October 27th to November 30th. The Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army, or MNDAA, the Daang National Liberation Army, or TNLA, and the Arakan Army, or AA, claimed that most of the casualties were from airstrikes and artillery. MNDAA spokesperson Li Jia Wen blamed the civilian deaths on the military. He added that over 50 were killed in the Kokang self-administered zone, while 60 others were killed in the TNLA areas of northern Shan State. 30 civilians were killed and over 100 were injured in Arakan State. Tony Wilson is the founder and director of Security Force Monitor a group documenting allegations of abuse and crimes committed by the military. We've identified all of the senior army generals in charge of units across Myanmar. And of those, almost 80 commanders, more than 60% have had allegations of torture, rapes, killings, or disappearances by units under their command. So these are direct allegations from human rights reporting, from NGOs working in the country, United Nations and others that identify a specific perpetrator and accuse them of committing one of these violations. That was Tony Wilson, the founder and director of Security Force Monitor. Eight men fleeing from Laokai said they were forcibly recruited by the MNDAA on November 24th. A source assisting IDPs told DVB. The source confirmed the eight men were forced to wear MNDAA uniforms. A video circulating online allegedly showed a meeting in Pangsan on December 4th, where an MNDAA official gave an order that each family must enlist a member to serve. Families were reportedly threatened if they did not follow the directive. Li Jia Wen told the Shan Herald Agency for News that Kokang living in northern Shan State are obliged to serve. The MNDAA has also told IDPs who have fled conflict-affected areas that their homes may be sealed off if they do not return. The Central Bank of Myanmar announced that it will no longer set exchange rates for foreign currencies on December 5th. Banks and licensed foreign currency dealers will be allowed to set the rates instead. The CBM previously pegged the exchange rate at 2,100 Myanmar chot per US dollar significantly below the black market rate of 3,500 chop per US dollar. It did not give a reason for the policy change in its announcement. And that's all for this week's headlines. I'm Joe. Stay tuned to DVB English News on Facebook, YouTube, X, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Follow us on Spotify, Audible, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, or YouTube Music. 
we are available wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening.